Welcome to DOS Geek. So what we have here is something really cool and not very expensive that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. And before we begin, I want to give a big thanks to Big Daddy Linux and Tux Digital who recommended this product to me and also happen to be hosts along with myself and Zeb on the Destination Linux podcast, which has a YouTube channel, a Twitch channel, and it's a podcast. So check that out if you haven't already. But this is the IC Doc Express Cage. There are several different versions that IC Doc makes of this. This particular one holds four 2.5 inch, that's a 2.5 inch right there, SSDs, and it goes in your five and a quarter inch bay on your computer. So you know a CD-ROM drive, this is the exact same size and dimensions of a typical CD-ROM drive just about, and it slides right in the bay that a CD-ROM drive would slide in, except it holds all four of your SSDs. On the back of this, we've got some awesome extra cooling fan here. It requires one power connector and has a separate SATA connector for each of the hard drives. And then we have a jumper cable here where we can change the speed of the fans from low, medium to high. And that allows us, of course, if we need to keep things ultra quiet, we can leave those on low or we can put the fan on high and make sure that those hard drives stay nice and cool. So what are some advantages of this? Well, once you start getting as many SSDs as you have in my computer, real estate starts becoming an issue, even with the gigantic case that I have, which is the Corsair Striker case, starts running out of places where you can mount them. So now I can put four drives into this bay because I've got a bunch of bays on the front of my case that go unused and I can keep them all organized in here. It also helps with wire management. So some of this that I will be using this for is potentially setting up RAID configurations with your hard drive. So you know, all four drives in here are set up in a RAID configuration, makes it much easier. Additionally, you could use this for distro hopping, which is primarily what I wanna do. I wanna have a bunch of different distros because I have to do a lot of testing of different distros depending on the guests we have on the show, etc. And it would be nice to be able to say this drive right here holds Windows 10 on it. This drive right here holds Arco Linux on it. One of my drives, a couple drives inside my machine hold Zubuntu and MX Linux and other different things on there. I have an NVMe drive in there as well. So I've got a bunch of different drives. This will allow me to keep them organized. But additionally, let's say I'm worried Grub is going to overwrite on my Windows drive. Well, because this is hot swappable, I can just simply click that drive and take it out and then run and install, make sure Grub has no impact on any of these drives that I'm worried about. And then when I'm done, I can just simply stick that drive back in, click and go. So there's that ability there, which is really nice. Or if a drive goes bad, being able to take it out without opening the case is a big advantage because I have to hide my case behind padding for soundproofing and things so it doesn't come through on my microphone for recordings. So I'm sure there are a bunch of other use cases as well, but it's very simple. Once you click that button and pop this out, you can see there are two tabs here on the front. This is going to help hold the hard drive in place, and then there are two mount screw points on the back and so you would basically put your screw points there. So if we take our hard drive, and you can imagine it's going to basically go right there. So it went right into those little holes, and then I've got two mount points right here where I can mount screws onto that SSD. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Well, that's interesting. The screws are too small to be able to screw in to the drive. They're not long enough. They're not long enough to screw into the drive. They don't reach. Why would they give you screws on two different hard drives that don't reach, that are so so small, so tiny, that they don't fit? And when I put it, look, I'm gonna read the manual here. I got robbed! Oh no, I didn't. They're in here. Don't worry, people, I didn't get robbed. I just uh, missed the screws here. All right, great. Stupid box hiding the screws. All right, so here are our two about five inch screws. Something was wrong, and let's uh, let's try this one more time here, shall we? So we're gonna. So you got two sets of screws. I don't know what those other screws are. Maybe maybe they just hold it into. Maybe they're for the mounting brackets uh, themselves. That's a better fit, and it's flat. Makes a lot more sense. Okay, so and now we can mount this. So let's see what drive we pulled out. We pulled out, so SATA 1 and SATA 2 are on this side. 
So that's perfect. So we'll put saddle one here. You can see how that just clicks out. Clicks back in. And now let's take out SATA 2. And let's mount this drive. And you know from the front, you want the ports facing where they can click into the back of the IC dock. So if you look inside the IC dock, you're not going to be able to see it there, but there are your standard docking ports for an SSD sitting in the very back. So now we put our Samsung in there, and boom, we are ready now to mount this device. You can see our mounting holes into our case. So let's go do that. All right, so you can see we've got two of my, I've got a Blu-ray player. I think both of these are Blu-ray players. I don't remember. A multi-disc reader, at least, and a Blu-ray player at the top. And below that, we are going to put our IC dock in. So you can see how beautiful that's going to look to make things hot swappable. Funny enough, this case has a hot swappable drive built into it that doesn't work. It's horrendous. So now we are going to mount this with some screws. And we are going to connect one power cable, which I have here coming off of my power supply. And the wiring needs some work here, but ultimately you can see the drive in there and the SATA connections connected in. So we are ready to rock and roll. So now if we need to just pop a drive out, boop. We are good to go. If we need to add some more drives in, once you have them all wired up, we could just add another drive in and pop it in place. Very, very cool little device there. Love it, and you could get it for cheap. Very, very handy, and looks great with the case. And we can see on the front of the case here, you've got two lights where the hard drives are lit up, which is really nice. You have an indicator of which ones actually have drives in it and which ones do not. And so far it looks like everything's processing and we didn't blow anything up. In the battle between man versus machine, man wins. As you can see, our computer booted. Yes! It's amazing. It actually works. So very easy installation and setup. Let's make sure our drives are actually there. So my video SSD, my Windows drive, it's all there. Everything's working as it should be. The Icy Dock Express Cage is a win in my book. Very cool little device, great for distro hoppers, great for those who want to set up RAID, who want to make sure that they organize their machine, don't have hard drives mounted everywhere. Let me know in the comments below if you've checked this out or a similar product. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains! Don't forget to subscribe.